students today we will be solving exercise from the lesson our earth's natural satellite the name of the chapter is our earth's natural satellite this is chapter number 13 from living science textbook so let us start with our first mcq which is the closest neighbor of the earth in space is the options are the sun the jupiter moon mars so which is a correct option obviously it has to be moon so moon is the closest neighbor of earth in space second question moon is lonely and silent place because it does not have the options are flowers air music fire well students the answer for this question is air because sound requires some medium to travel and moon does not have any air so it is completely a silent place you cannot hear any sounds on moon let us see third question also an object through which light cannot pass is called solid dark opaque shadow so object through which light cannot pass is called as opaque object okay so the correct option is c opaque opaque means what which is not transparent so light cannot pass through this objects which are opaque in nature fourth question the first artificial satellite launched by india in 1975 was the options are sputnik 1 aryabhat charka inset well the correct answer to this is aryabhat okay so aryabhat was the first artificial satellite launched by india and this was done in 1975 now why they named it as aryabhat because aryabhat is one of the early astronomers from india that's why okay what do we mean by astronomers astronomers are the scientists who study space and heavenly objects so aryabhat was one amongst them let us see fifth question a person who goes into space is called an astronomer astronaut astrologer agriculturist so the person who goes to space is called as astronaut okay so the correct answer is b astronaut students after take the correct answers we have fill in the blanks so we have to fill in with the correct words from the brackets first question the surface of the moon is very the answer is rough the options were smooth and rough so i have selected rough why because obviously from whatever we have observed about moon it is not at all smooth there are a lot of craters on the surface so what is craters craters means the pits that have been formed by meteorites then second question the astronaut who stepped on the moon with neil armstrong was the answer is edwin aldrin options were edwin aldrin michael collins but i have selected edwin aldrin because he was the one who stepped along with neil armstrong michael collins was a part of the team but he stayed in the spacecraft to communicate with the earth third question when the moon is completely in the dark shadow of the earth it is total dash eclipse the answer is lunar eclipse because moon is hidden because of the shadow that falls on the surface and since it is related to the moon it is called as lunar eclipse then fourth question tides are caused in the ocean due to dash of the moon the answer is gravitational pull okay because gravitational pull causes uh the rise of the tide or lowering of the tide that happens is always because of the gravitational pull of the moon because moon also has its own gravitational field so it tries to attract the earth but it cannot attract earth because earth is very massive and that's why the effect is on the water so water is comparatively less dense and so it is getting attracted towards the moon whenever it is facing the moon okay so that's what causes tides in the ocean then fifth question the satellite that sends messages from one country to another are called dash satellites 
we call them as communication satellites because they help us to establish communication between two countries so two countries are able to talk with each other they can share their messages with each other because of communication right short answers this is question number c so who was the first man to go into space this is our first question from short answers well the answer to this question is major yuri gagarin he was the first person to go into space then second question who was the first woman to go into space the first woman was valentina tereshkova she was the first woman to go into space then third question name the first man made satellite the answer is sputnik 1 sputnik 1 is a first man made satellite fourth who was the first indian astronaut well the answer is rakesh sharma rakesh sharma was the first indian astronaut fifth question name the first person who landed on the moon the answer to this question is neil armstrong was the first person to land on moon sixth question give one example of space telescopes the answer is hubble space telescope is one of the example of space telescope so this telescope is launched in space by nasa and it has helped us to catch lot of pictures in the space now question number d answer these questions here there will be long answers so we will be describing our answers okay first question why does the moon shine well the moon does not make its own light okay it is not self luminescent it does not create its own light then how does it shine it shines because it reflects the light of the sun that falls on it so it shines so i repeat the answer the moon does not make its own light however it reflects the light of the sun that falls on it and so it shines second question how does the atmosphere surrounding the earth protect us well the earth is surrounded by layer of the atmosphere which absorb a part of strong heat so strong heat is absorbed by the atmosphere and allows only part to reach the earth during the day time also at night it does not allow the heat of the earth to escape because that heat is necessary because if it allows the heat to escape during night time then earth would become super cool which is not good for living beings the atmosphere protect us from dangerous radiations also earth uh, is protected by atmosphere with this respect because sun emits so many harmful radiations that it can damage the living beings but we should be thankful to atmosphere because it absorbs most of the harmful radiations also meteors which would otherwise have fallen on the earth it protects us from the meteors which would have otherwise fallen if atmosphere was not there then meteors might have fallen on earth okay but thanks to atmosphere which protects us from meteors so atmosphere protects us from strong radiations it protects us from all the harmful radiations it does not allow heat to escape which is necessary also and it also protects us from the meteors third question how are tides caused well the answer to this question is although the moon's gravity is very weak compared to earth it has a noticeable effect on earth it pulls the waters of seas and oceans of the earth causing tides since the moon is closer to the earth than the sun the moon's pull on the water is stronger than that of the sun that's why we have tides fourth question how is solar eclipse caused well when people in the shadow of the moon cannot see the sun it is an eclipse of the sun or solar eclipse when the sun is completely hidden behind the shadow of the moon it is total solar eclipse so people who are in this position of the earth will see a total solar eclipse because sun is completely hidden by the moon okay by the shadow of the moon and so it is total solar eclipse whereas when the shadow of the moon hides only a part of the sun it is a partial solar eclipse so people who are over here or over here they will see only a part of the sun because the shadow of the moon is hiding only part of the sun that's why it is partial solar eclipse for them okay then fifth question what is partial lunar eclipse well 
when the moon is only partially hidden by the dark shadow of the earth it is partial lunar eclipse so it is a shadow of the earth that causes lunar eclipse and when it is only partially hidden then it is called as partial lunar eclipse fifth question what is partial lunar eclipse well when the moon is only partially hidden by the dark shadow of the earth it is partial lunar eclipse so it is a shadow of the earth that causes lunar eclipse and when it is only partly hidden it is called as partial lunar eclipse sixth question what are artificial satellites and how are these satellites useful to mankind here you will write the artificial satellites are man made objects which revolve around the earth they are used to send signals of the television programs from one country to another weather satellites take pictures of the movements of clouds and help us to forecast weather they can give us early warnings of the dangerous storms or cyclones building over the seas and forest fires floods and moving glaciers so lot of information satellites can give because they can uh view the earth in a better way they are in a better position since they are in space so they can give us better idea of what is happening on the earth well students that was all from my side thank you for attending this session i hope it will be helpful to you for your exercise solving and we will be coming up with next video with a new topic until then take care bye bye